What if I told you, over a thousand years ago, when most of the world was still building huts and wooden forts, India witnessed the rise of a temple so grand, so mysterious, that even today, scientists and historians cannot fully explain how it was built. A temple where a single stone weighing more than 80 tons was placed at the very top of a 216-foot tower, where the shadow of the temple disappears at noon, where granite from miles away was somehow transported without wheels, trucks, or cranes. This is not a fantasy. This is the story of Brihadishwarar Temple, also known as the Big Temple of Tanjavur, built by the legendary Chola king Raja Raja Chola I in the year 1010 CE. For over a millennium, this temple has stood tall, untouched by earthquakes, floods, and wars. But behind its beauty lies a mystery that continues to puzzle experts. How did people from a thousand years ago achieve such engineering perfection? Tonight, we are not just walking into a temple. We are stepping into a living puzzle of ancient India. Let's unlock its secrets, one by one. The 80-ton capstone mystery. Look up at the tower of Brihadishwarar Temple, known as the Vimana. It soars to an unbelievable height of 216 feet, making it one of the tallest temple towers in the world. But what makes it truly unbelievable is what sits at its very peak, a single granite block weighing about 80 tons. Now pause and think, how could ancient builders lift such an enormous stone, heavier than a modern battle tank, to such dizzying heights, without cranes, without machines, and without steel? The popular theory says the Cholas built a six-kilometer-long ramp. Using elephants and thousands of men, they slowly dragged the stone up the slope until it reached the top. Ingenious, yes, but here's the mystery. No trace of such a massive ramp exists today. Not a single piece of evidence has been found. Some historians suggest the stone might have been carved and placed in smaller pieces, but modern studies show it is indeed a single block. Others whisper about lost technologies, knowledge of counterweights, or even energy-based methods that we cannot comprehend today. Whatever the truth, one thing is certain. The capstone is not just a stone. It is a symbol, a message from the Cholas that says, we conquered gravity itself. The Shatterless Tower Stand in front of Brihadishwarar Temple at noon when the sun is at its peak. Look at the giant tower. Something strange happens. Its massive shadow does not fall on the ground. Yes, you heard that right. Despite being over 200 feet tall, the Vimana of Brihadishwarar Temple is often described as shadowless. But how is that possible? Some architects argue that the tower's design is so precise that at certain times of the day, the shadow falls directly on the tower itself, making it appear invisible. Others say it's a play of geometry and sunlight angles unique to Tanjavur's latitude. But think about this. Over a thousand years ago, how could the Cholas calculate the sun's movements with such accuracy? Remember, this was long before telescopes, satellites, or modern astronomy. And yet, the temple's alignment remains perfect even today. For devotees, this is not just science. It is spirituality. They believe the tower symbolizes Lord Shiva's cosmic energy so vast that it casts no shadow on Earth. So, is it advanced mathematics, astronomical genius, or divine intervention? The truth may be hidden, but the experience of seeing a shadowless tower is enough to leave anyone in awe. The Granite Puzzle Now let's talk about the material used. The entire temple is built out of granite, a stone that is incredibly hard, heavy, and difficult to carve. But here's the twist. Granite is not found anywhere near Tanjavur. The closest source is over 60 kilometers away. 
So how did the Cholas transport hundreds of thousands of tons of granite across rivers, forests, and plains without modern trucks or trains? Some theories suggest they used elephants and wooden rollers. Others say they floated the stones down the Kaveri River. But when you look at the sheer scale of the temple, the explanation feels too simple. We're not talking about a few stones. We're talking about a city of granite blocks, each weighing tons, carved with unbelievable detail. Even more mysterious is the precision of the carving. Intricate sculptures, perfect pillars, and flawlessly fitting blocks suggest the use of tools far beyond the basic chisels we imagine. Some researchers even speculate the Cholas had knowledge of advanced metallurgy or stone softening techniques lost to time. The result? A temple that looks less like it was built and more like it was carved out of a single mountain. This is not just construction. This is mastery. Perfect proportions and earthquake resistance. The Briyadishwadar temple is more than just beautiful. It is mathematically perfect. Every part of the temple, from the smallest pillar to the massive tower, follows precise ratios and symmetry. But here's what shocks engineers the most. This temple has stood tall for over a thousand years without collapsing even though it sits in a region prone to earthquakes and natural disasters. How? The secret lies in its design. The stones were not cemented with mortar. Instead, they were interlocked with incredible precision, almost like a giant jigsaw puzzle. This allows the structure to absorb vibrations and shocks without cracking. Modern engineers call this earthquake-resistant architecture, but the Cholas perfected it a thousand years ago. Even more amazing, the tower is hollow inside, a design choice that reduces its weight while maintaining strength. It's almost as if the builders had an advanced understanding of structural engineering long before such science was documented. For many, this temple is proof that ancient India was not just spiritual, but also scientific a civilization that could combine faith with flawless engineering to create something eternal. No wonder UNESCO calls it a World Heritage Masterpiece. Cosmic Alignment and Hidden Frescoes Step inside the sanctum and you'll notice something even more magical. The temple is not just aligned to the east. It is aligned so precisely that sunlight falls directly on the main deity, Lord Shiva, at specific times of the year. This is no coincidence. It shows the Cholas had advanced knowledge of astronomy and cosmic alignment. They built the temple not just as a structure, but as a cosmic machine, syncing with the universe itself. But the surprises don't end there. Hidden beneath later Nayak paintings, archaeologists discovered ancient Chola frescoes. These paintings depict royal life, rituals, and even detailed Bharatnatyam dance postures. The shocking part? These frescoes were made with natural pigments and organic materials, yet they survived for over a thousand years. How did the colors not fade? What secret mixtures do the Cholas know that even modern chemistry struggles to replicate? The deeper you go, the more it feels like the Briyadishvidar temple is not just a place of worship. It is a storehouse of lost knowledge, astronomy, art, chemistry, and spirituality, all in one. Final thoughts. So what do we make of the Briyadishvidar temple? Is it simply an architectural wonder of the Chola dynasty? Or is it a riddle? deliberately left behind to remind us of what humans are capable of when they combine devotion with knowledge. Think about it. Over a thousand years ago, people with no machines, no computers, and no electricity built something that modern science still struggles to explain. A tower that defies gravity, a shadow that disappears, a structure that survives earthquakes, and paintings that outlive time itself. Perhaps the real secret of Brihadishvara Temple is this. It was never meant to be just a monument. 
It was meant to be a message, a reminder that true greatness comes when we look beyond limits. And so I leave you with one question. Do you believe this was only human genius? Or did the Cholas have access to ancient knowledge now lost to us forever? Tell me in the comments what you think. Because the big temple of Tanjavur is not just history. It is a living mystery. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more inspiring content. See you in the next one.